Hello guys, how are you all doing? So in the first part of all my Rario videos, I discussed about the concept itself, also about what kind of offerings they have for you in terms of a game, the marketplace that is coming up. So I hope you all understood all of that. I saw many of you bought some really amazing packs, got some great cards. So I know that you all are really excited for the game, which is going to come out on the 28th of this month, same day that India plays Pakistan. So it's going to be an exciting day for all of us. And apart from that, even the marketplace comes out on that day. But I know all of you still have one question in your mind that how do you actually play this game that is about to come out? So I have a five step simple walkthrough for you to understand how you can actually play this game. So first up on D3, you can simply select the game that you want to play. So there will be a set of matches that will be available for you. You can select the game that you want to play. Next up, you have the set of cards that you already own, correct? So you have to play with those set of cards. So now you can only play with the cards that you own. It's not like a team that is already available for you and you can pick from it. No, if you have a set of cards, you pick from them and you play. But I know in step three, many of you seem to be worried that what if I have only bronze cards? Can I play this game? Or what if I have a few bronze and a few silver? Can I play this game? No worries at all. Even if you have one black card or if, and a mix of other cards, you can still end up playing this game. How? So every tier has a different set of cards that you require to play this game. So for example, maybe the lowest tier, even if you have three bronze cards, you can play this game. On the other end, maybe you have only one black card and a set of gold cards. There would still be a different mix of tiers for you to play the game. So there will be three, four different types of contests. So all your cards are eligible to use in the game. That is the first part about the type of contest. Now, what type of team do you need to enter this contest? You need at least one batter and at least one bowler to enter the contest and very importantly, different teams. So there are two teams that play the match, correct? So in the CPL, two teams would play a match. You need at least one player from each team to start the game. And apart from that, along with the fact that these two players should be from different teams, you should have one batter and one bowler. These are the two minimum prerequisites. Now you can have three players within your team. So once you have one one player from the different teams, you also have one batter and one bowler and your last pick can be a bowler, a batter, an all rounder, whatever you'd like to go ahead and pick. There's no compulsion in terms of the third pick. So even if you have an extra batter, you can pick him extra bowler, you can pick him. And if you love all rounders like I love them, then you should pick the third player as the all-rounder. So it's as simple as that. Obviously, you can also pick a keeper in that slot. There's no compulsion there. So that is how the setup looks like, like you can see on the screenshot that I've also shown you on the side. Apart from that, that is how you set up this team. Now, once this team is set up, you can simply compete in the leaderboard. You can win different kind of prizes. There'll be cash prizes. You can also win other cards. Yep, so it's not only limited to cash. You can also win more of these cards to play in further games. And what is the best part which I've been emphasizing on since this whole concept has come out that irrespective of your result, your card always stays with you. Yes. So after you play this contest, maybe your players didn't perform well in that game. Does not matter. The card stays with you. You can go ahead and use it not only in the next game of the tournament. You can also go ahead and use it in further tournaments. So for example, now the CPL is over. It's not like your card is a total waste after that. You can use this card in any other T20 league. You can use the card in the upcoming World Cup. So there are different kind of tournaments that are going to come up, right? So you can use this card all across. You can sell it in the marketplace. You can buy new cards on the marketplace. So there are too many new things that are coming up for you. So don't worry about that. And yes, if you missed out on the original part of what this concept is all about, I've attached a link of the first video in the description. So you can go ahead and watch that. If you have not bought a pack yet, go buy the packs right now. You have a sign up link there so you can go buy your first pack right away and start playing this game from the CPL as soon as it comes out and stay tuned to this channel for more such content. Stay subscribed and keep liking and sharing. Thank you so much. And if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments. Always happy to help you out. Happy winnings to all of you.